Good day once again. My name is Graphics. Today we'll be constructing an ellipse by method of what? Concentric. Right? Or auxiliary method. Now when you are told an ellipse, there are two important aspects of it you have to draw first before you can do anything. And that is your major and what? Minor axis. Now if I take my T square I am going to draw an horizontal line. Can you see that? And also I'm going to draw a vertical line this way. Can you see that? So this is my horizontal and that is what my vertical line. Hmm? So the next thing you do is to measure your major and minor axis. If you look at it, it says the major axis is 120 millimeter. So that means the horizontal line here is the major axis, the vertical line here is the minor axis. So with the help of your compass, you're going to measure half of the major axis, which is 60. So I'll place it here. I measure 60 with the meter rule. So from here to here is 60. Can you see that? And I am going to use it to draw a circle. Can you see that? I will draw what? A circle. Now I'm drawing my circle. This is my major circle because it is gotten from my major axis. So if you calculate from here to here, now will be what? 120. So let me call this point, point A. And let me call this point, point B. Now the next one you do is to draw the minor circle, right? Or the minor axis. So you take half of it, which is 40. So if I take half of it, this is 40. 0 to 4 is 40. And I'll place it in the center here. And I'm going to draw my circle. Right? So that is my minor circle. So the vertical point, I'll call this point here point C. And I'll call this point here point D. All good. Now, the next thing you have to do, you can make it with your compass. You place it at this end here with the radius of these two. Can you see that? This is the radius of the center to this point B. And we're going to strike up this way. I also come here also. I strike up this way. And I also come to the top here too. When I mean the top, I mean this top. This top here. I'm going to strike down here. And I'm going to strike down here. What I'm trying to do is to divide the circle into three equal parts. So with the help of my ruler or my T-square, the first point I will let it pass to the center to meet the other part of the circumference. Right? So from here. Can you see that? Touching here. What I want to do, I'll do the same thing too from the center. From here. Passing here and touching here. Now, the other line too, I'll do the same thing too. From the center here. Pass to the center. The same here. The other one too. And the same thing. Now, I have successfully divided this line into two equal parts. Right? So, the next thing I'm going to do here is to draw my horizontal line such that if I'm drawing the horizontal line to be from the minor circle remember the horizontal line is from what? the minor circle so this is what I mean here so if I take my T square this is our minor circle now where did this guy meet here? It meets at this point here, right? So I'll take this 
I'll draw my horizontal line this direction. Are we good? Why the vertical line is from the outer circle, the major circle? So I'll take my my C square, place it on my T square, I'll take that point here. So I'll draw it down where the root is my first point. Right? Where the meet here is my first point. I'll go to the next one again. The horizontal line is the one coming from the minor circle. I will extend it. And the vertical line is the one coming from the major circle. I'm going to do the same thing. To where they meet is another point. Then the other point is already horizontal, so I don't need to be the top point. Right? I'll come again. The horizontal line is from the minor circle. I'll draw. And the vertical line is from the major circle. Can you see where this division of line meets? It's another point here. I'll move again. The horizontal line is from where the division line meets the minor circle. I'll draw. And the vertical line is where the division line meets the what? The major circle. And I'll draw. So they meet here. It's another point here. How good? I'll do the same thing to them. Point D is another point. I'll come here too. I'll do the same thing. Horizontal line. Forward. And the vertical line. It's on the major circle. Wait a minute. Same thing here too. I'll do the same thing here. So let me put in the same process. Another point here. Come here too. The same thing. These are the meat. Come here too. I'll do the same thing. These are the meat. So after I got to this point, I'm going to use my French cuff to join all those points together. So I will use a French cuff. Now this is what you do when you're using your French cuff. You're going to from this point your target is your main target. We know that A to B is the major circle and B, C to D is the minor circle. So your target will be C and D. This is your target, C and D. Can you see? So this is C and what? This is D. Now you start adjusting your your French curve. You start adjusting it until the three of them meet. Can you see? Then I'm going to draw. You can see? They are meeting. Now you do the same thing, you turn. You turn it this way. The same thing with targeting A and C. You're targeting A and C, you'll be moving it until it meets three of them. Hmm? You're missing three of them. Can you do that? You'll be adjusting it. When it meets three of them, can you draw? On this point. This point, can you see that? Then you turn it downward also, and you place it targeting A and D also. This is my A and D, so I'll continue moving it until it meets just three points. Right? So from here, this point, and then it four. Can you see that? After that, I'm going to turn it this way around too. I'll place it this way. So, targeting D and B. Now, assume that I'll be adjusting it until you get three of those points. Right? So, targeting those three points. This is, this is, and this is. 
right Can we do that? Can we do that? Can we do that? We have this. So this is what? My ellipse. Thank you for watching.